This video contains explicit graphic of human feces. You have been warned. Engineering 8 presents 5 Crappy Engineering Number 1, Poo Powered Bus Western European countries are the only places where reducing carbon footprint is taken seriously. It all began in in Lille France when biomethane extracted from human waste is used to run buses in 1994. Today, Scandinavian countries, United Kingdom, Germany, and Switzerland have similar system with biofuel sources. Not just from sewage treatment plants, but also livestock's dung and food waste. Number 2, Puu-based charcoal in Kenya. Human and animal dung have been used as notable alternative fuel before industrial age. Despite its ubiquity in developing countries, it was never properly industrialized like other fossil fuels. Until one company in Kenya decided to step up for it. Human waste is collected from villages around Nakuru city and dried for weeks before it was burned on high temperature. The result is odorless and harmless fuel that is comparable to charcoal and firewood. A great solution that is not just green, but also solved poor sanitation in Kenya. Number 3, Puu Fertilizer in North Korea. Treated human solid waste is safe for crops. In fact some cities across America turn 50% of human feces into fertilizers to save landfill space. It becomes a problem when there is improper handling of this kind of fertilizer, combined with poor sanitary conditions, for example in North Korea. A medical checkup revealed 7 out of 17 female North Korean defectors have parasites in their stool. A South Korean surgeon who treated a North Korean defector, had also removed huge parasitic worms from his patient's intestines, which he described as something that only happened in textbook. Number 4. Crap App An app called Diapropy alerts phone or tablet user when the baby just excremated. Besides sensing poo particles, electronic sensors embedded in diaper also tracks baby's location and body temperature on behalf of busy parents. If anything goes wrong, it will alert parent over wireless network. Although it sounds cool, this app is just probably trying to solve a non-existent problem. Normally, the baby will simply cry out loud if any of these happen, and any sane parents would let the bedroom door wide open so they can hear the baby crying at any moment. Quite a crappy app, in whatever way you want to take it. Finally. Stool Tool. There is a site called StoolAnalyzer.com where you can check your health based on your crap characteristics such as shape, color, as well as how often you poop. Stool Analyzer will guide you through lists of multiple answers full of visual aids. Once you completed the quiz, grade will be given and if there's any problem with your excrement, it will advise you mostly about dietary. By the way, Stool Analyzer was made based on Bristol Stool Scale a diagnose tool compiled in Bristol Royal Infirmary, England. So, this thing is legit. You guys should give it a try.